In a naval town like ours, ship reunions are pretty commonplace, but this year's reunion for the crew of the destroyer USS Wilson was actually quite special. Both the ship and the men who served aboard her are now retired, but they had one last order of business to attend to today. And Tenant Your Sides Art Khan tells us this was something that was long overdue. <laughs> The USS Wilson was decommissioned 38 years ago, but both the ship and the memory of those who served are kept alive by a dwindling yet dedicated group of alumni. We were blessed by their presence. Lee Jewett. As the names of the deceased are read, a wreath is thrown over yes. the side and into the Elizabeth River. But the list of names read aboard the USS Wisconsin Friday morning might have been considerably longer had it not been for the courageous actions of one young sailor aboard the Wilson back in 1947. We hold this meritorious mass to thank you, Shipmate Robert Drow, for what you did that day. Robert Boudreau was just 18 years old that day. We just left the, came out of the Mediterranean by the rock of Gibraltar when we ran into a, a real bad storm. The rough seas caused several live rounds of ammunition to pull loose from their storage and began rolling around in the compartment just below the deck. Good. Seaman Boudreau volunteered to go below and secure the loose shells. Some of them were rolling pretty fast and they were hard to catch, you know. But I, I finally caught him. An officer met Boudreaux when he emerged safely from the hatch. He says, boy, am I damn glad to see you. And I says, I'm damn glad to see you. <laughs> Had it not been for Boudreaux's selfless act, the ship and her crew might very well have been lost. Just one of them going off would have set a chain reaction for all of them to go off. He should know, Art Kahn, yes, he's my father, served aboard the Wilson as the gunnery officer in 1959. And the fact that this young man went down there, risked his life to save the ship, is an extraordinary feat of courage which should have been recognized. 65 years later, that recognition has finally come. In Norfolk, Art Con, 10 on your side. By the way, the Wilson was commissioned in March of 1946. The reunion continues through the weekend in Virginia Beach. Wow.